Oh, we gotta um, open them and cut them into squares. Like you get one of those little plastic uh, plates of Noah's. We can cut them into squares because we gotta um, unthaw them a little bit. You know what I mean? Like put them in the microwave for just like a couple seconds to get them a little bit. Oh, stink! I totally forgot to send out an alert. My bad. Oh no. So, hello, 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 everybody. I, if you were watching this on the replay because I forgot to send out a text message saying I was going to go live, that's my bad. I'm so sorry. Anyways, as you guys hop on, say hello. Let me know where you're coming in from. We are making our favorite keto taco soup. It's our creamy keto taco soup and we're doing um a double batch did you open this one already no <coughs> anyway so we've got about two pounds of hamburger right now ground up and cooking up so Hello, hello, everybody. Hello, so as you guys hello. hop on, say hello. Let us know where you're coming in from. Um, we have a couple of places on our menu. Hold on. Sorry, Facebook. My bad. Totally just made y'all just stick to your stomach. My bad. I'm so sorry. Anyway, so we do have a couple of places within our meal plans. Um, this week for something else. So if you guys have a um, specific thing that you guys want to see made this week, um, we're going to have a couple of chicken dishes. I'm going to do some um, crock pot meal prep versus uh, like, whoops, making the chicken prior to cooking the actual meal. Um, so I'm going to do some meal prep videos for you guys, probably on TikTok and Instagram reels. So you guys know how to make your chicken without it being so super dried out. Because I know that's a lot of people's um, biggest issue is they dry out their chicken and then it just tastes gross. They don't want to eat it. And then they did all that work for nothing. I totally get it. And there is not a lot of hamburger fat in here, so we are going to leave it in there. So I've got two pounds of hamburger. And we're going to just add in some garlic. We've got about half a white onion in there. And you guys, I love garlic, so... Ain't that for sure. <laughs> I just did two big tablespoons. Don't That's come it. for me. Don't That's come it. for me. <laughs> you want two? Do you want some more? I didn't say I want more, oh but gosh. that's light for you. Oh my gosh. Anyways, what is happening? I can't see. There we go. <laughs> I've done lost my... Your mind? Huh? Funny. You are a funny, funny man. I know. Anyways, so it's a table, a tablespoon, tablespoon, a tablespoon, a tablespoon of cumin, a tablespoon spoon mm -hmm. of cumin, which is not what Ricky thought it was. <coughs> okay. I, I will just leave that to your imagination. Okay, y'all. Okay, so I might have said cumin. You just spit on my arm. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, I got excited. Okay, wow. So that's, you brought me into this one. That's a lot of information right there. Oh my goodness. Tracy said, hello, my favorite humans. Humans? Humans. Anyway, so the recipe, my original recipe says to do one tablespoon of cumin. 
I'm doubling the recipe, so there's two tablespoons it, in there. And then cool? one teaspoon of um, chili powder, and I just did probably a half a tablespoon. Is it so, cumin or is it coming? I'm going to... Uh, no, no, really. I it's cumin. Okay. Yes, yeah, great show. I think Tracy would agree with me. Oh, my Atlanta. Tracy, come get him. He's crazy. Somebody come get him. He's being crazy in my kitchen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> anyway, so you're going to let that cook down. Get those flavors incorporated. Oh my goodness. I'm going to turn this bad boy down a little bit. And then... Put some cream cheese in the mm -hmm. microwave. So, the last few... <laughs> Tracy said I'm not saying a word. <laughs> oh, come on, Tracy. Uh, so the last couple things you're going to need is some cream cheese. You want to try and soften it just a little bit. <laughs> I swear to God. Oh, oh my I got a whole lot. And, the, <laughs> and then some <laughs> Rotel. Again, we're doubling the recipe, so... Uh, we did two big cans. These are the 28 ounce cans. Um, and then we're doing two boxes of beef broth. beef broth. And then it's one cup of heavy whipping cream. So we did 16 ounces of cream cheese. So you're just going to kind of like make a little hole. And plop it in there. So help me, Lord. <laughs> oh my God. Anyway, so you want to break it up, get it really well incorporated. So you don't have any clumps of cream cheese in there. I gotta be like 10 steps ahead of you, so you <laughs> and your crazy talk don't get me in trouble. Oh my goodness. Here's one cup. So you're gonna get it really well incorporated. Just like so. <coughs> Alright. So this time, we don't normally, but we did this time because I want it to be thicker and not so soupy. We took the... Can you get me a spatula? We took the liquid out of these two. If you want it to be more soupy, then obviously leave the liquid in there. So you got to get every last little tomato and there's only two hey. in it. Hey. Shut know, it. It's how I am, okay? I <coughs> He's such a punk, y'all. He's so mean to me. He's so mean to me. Oh my goodness. Okay. So you're going to get that well incorporated. Like, you could literally eat it like this. It smells so good. Yum! Okay. So then, to just finish it off this is how fast this dish is you guys like seriously super fast it needs a beef broth <laughs> it's great. Half yeah, you want more thicker, right? well i mean So we're going to get that, bring it back up to a boil, and then we'll put in the heavy whipping cream. Go no, not yet. we got to let it cook up a little bit. Anyways. I'm learning me to cook. What chili powder did you use? Um, so we get, we just go to Winco and get the chili powder out of like <coughs> the bulk section, but I also have... I also have just like regular 
somewhere. Just regular chili powder somewhere else. Um, but we just get whatever. We don't get specific. We don't like specifically get a brand. I guess. Mm -mm. I'm pretty when it comes to um, like seasonings or anything like that. I pretty much just try to get everything in the bulk section, um, just because it's less expensive there. You don't pay for all their jarring and all their names and all that kind of stuff, right? Yeah. We're just, I'm going to put the lid on this really quick. So right now, for this week, um, we still have Jalapop, <laughs> I cannot speak, um, Jalapeno Popper Chicken Casserole, Chicken Cordon Bleu Casserole, we did taco soup today, we've got Loaded Cauliflower and Broccoli Casserole, we'll probably do that with, um, I'm thinking maybe salmon or, um, like tilapia or something, some kind of fish, um, because we haven't had fish in a while, so I think we'll probably do fish with that one. And then, um, we also still have the pig rolls to make for you guys. We're going to show you how to make those. And bell pepper sandwiches and egg cups for breakfast pep prep and then jalapeno poppers. So, we do have some room in there. I know that, well, I should probably make the keto, uh, the, what was it? What was the thing that you wanted? What? what was the thing you wanted? Meatloaf. The keto meatloaf. We should probably make that this week because everybody and their mom was like, Oh my god, I need that. So, we'll add that one down onto the menu for this week. But if you guys have something else or you want ideas for more specific stuff, just drop it in the comments and we will try and incorporate it in. I did tell some friends of ours that I would make a, or I would do a collection of um, meal prepping ideas um, and things for more chicken and fish uh, because they are currently on a chicken and fish diet so you guys will probably see me do more chicken more fish or at least I feel like we do a lot of chicken already I did use Rotel in the, the taco soup I did the Rotel with green chilies so this is about the time that I taste it to see if I need to put any more spice in it I like it kind of on the spicy side. Ricky is not a huge fan of the spice. Well, that's not true. He likes the spice, but his his, his, his butt doesn't so much. I don't, yeah. His butt doesn't especially um, love it. We're having a disagreement at the moment. So, huh? <laughs> Your hands are so cold. Okay, go ahead. I swear to God, you're going to wear it. Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go on more time. Just hold on. Okay. I'm going with him. Yeah, his idea of spicy is not the same as ours, that's for sure.
Here's, here's the kicker too, if it's too spicy, they can add some sour cream to theirs. It'll make it creamy and less spicy. So if they're not fans of spice, but you are, make it spicy and just give them some extra sour cream in their bowl. It needs some salt. It needs some salt today. I think maybe taking the um taking the juices out of the tomatoes might have made it not so spicy. Maybe that was the difference. But anyway. It's doing its thing. It's doing its thing. But that's it. Um, once you turn off the heat. Like I can turn off the heat now. As it sits it gets a little bit thicker. Um, what are FG seasonings? Are, uh, are those the, um, are these these? Yeah, the Flavor Gods. I didn't love them, no. They didn't, they were like, they didn't have any flavor to them. I did not like them. So save yourself some money and just go to the grocery store. Or go and get, um, I have to order more because I'm out. But online, you can get Garlic Gourmet. These, this is a really, really, really good line. Um, and they have a ton of different flavors. And if you keep your bottles like this that they send with your first order, the next time you order, you just have to order the refill bags. And they'll send you a bag that you just pour back in that. Um, and they have all kinds of ones, like... I'm almost out of this one too. This one is the garlic cheese sprinkles. Um, there is the garlic, um, great garlic dressing and uh, dip dip mix. That's more like a like a ranch dip. And then there's this one, spicy chipotle dip. And it's fajita mix. This is what I use when I make my fajitas out on the Blackstone. That one is a really really good one. Um, but they have a whole bunch of different seasonings and they specifically have a keto line of seasonings, um, that you can use and it's, they're really, really good compared to like flavor gods that literally don't have any flavor. That's how I feel about that. We use Weaver's Dutch Country Taco Seasoning. What is that? Somebody, um... One of, well, I shouldn't say somebody. My secret Santa sent me some taco seasoning from Rosebuds. It says Rosebuds Natural Seasonings. Um, so she sent me some of this. So this is the one I used um, when we made taco casserole last week. That was really good. Yeah, I was not a fan of Flavor Gods. You are correct, Amundo, with that. Anyways, but that's it, guys. Super easy. One pot. Like, what, 15 minutes and you're done? It's super delicious. The kids will eat this, like, gorge on this until it's gone because it's their favorite soup. Um, so, it's definitely a kid-friendly one. And like I said, if for some reason it turns out too spicy for somebody... All you got to do is when you serve it, you can serve it with sour cream and cheese and they can have a little bit more sour cream or they can have a little bit more cheese or they can have a little bit more of both and calm that spice down. So 
anyways or if you want it more spicy you can add more spice to your bowl as well so that's it guys that's all so if you guys have questions about this or you guys want the recipe just drop the recipe down below i almost dropped you again <coughs> and then um come join us again tomorrow if you didn't get a text alert saying I was going live, that's my bad. I didn't send one. I totally forgot. Um, so definitely, if you want the text alert before I go live every day, just drop the word remind down below and I'll get you the little link to get you into uh, my remind text because I send out a remind every single day right before I go live and it'll tell you unless it's like after 9 p.m. Pacific time because then my east coasters get mad if it's after midnight when i go live so it's fine anyways so you can just drop the word remind and i'll get you the little link to get yourself into that reminder text otherwise we're gonna go have dinner so thanks for hanging out thanks for hopping on come join us again tomorrow bye guys